Hey YouTube, I wanted to talk to you guys today about why you should listen to successful people. There's more to growing a business, there's more to growing in personal growth, personal positive attitude, PMA, personal positive attitude, KISS, keep it short and simple. Um, Areas of marketing, areas of sales, Tom, Tom Hopkins, uh, his stuff might be somewhat old, but it still works, it's all about sales, understanding relationships, uh, you can uh, go to understandingrelationships.com to find out more about that, um, just go to your local bookstore, library, go online um, uh, you can uh, you can find out a lot about how to be more successful by listening to um, audiobooks by listening to uh, or reading books about successful businessmen uh, coaches NBA coaches uh, NFL coaches baseball coaches uh, business coaches, uh, personal life um, coaches, um, to Anthony Robbins is someone to consider, Waking the Giant Within and many other books that he has, um, Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, I guess you can uh, think of uh, Jesus Christ. Or some of the other religious people in history as a uh, personal coach so you can uh, look their stuff up read it learn it and understand it and I uh, I try to read or listen to two books a week and I do a uh, kind of daily focus sessions where I will take some time out of the day get everything um, put my list together uh, go over my uh, business goals go over my personal goals go over uh, certain other things that are important to my overall uh, success in life um, sometimes I will re write my uh, business plan or, or business uh, outlook depending on um, the time of year typically I do that once a year uh, around uh, the fall versus the spring I want to say hey you know these are my sales numbers I, I want to get that ready and uh, you know get my marketing stuff out to uh, my customers so when they make uh, their decision in the lawn care for the upcoming season it might be in December it might be in November so it's in the fall when I focus on the upcoming year I don't wait until May to uh, update my sales goals sales uh, marketing strategies and uh, really using other people's success is how I do it. Um, I, uh, I listen to them. I want to know how they got to where they're at. And it's not about waking up and just uh, pulling the mower out of the, the trailer or sitting down on a zero turn and, and going and hitting 20 yards every day. I mean, that does help. But... You got to set some goals, learn how to achieve those goals by learning how other people grew. How, how do you go from uh, having a, a rust bucket work truck to having, a, you know, a $50,000 diesel dually and uh, pulling, a, I don't know, a 20 foot trailer? How do you do that? You, you know, I mean... Or how, how do you have 50 uh, service vehicles? You, you know, how, how do you grow to your uh, multi-million dollar corporation? 
Well, you listen to other people. You listen to successful people. You read books. Uh, sometimes you got to read more than one book to really understand. And it might not, you might not get it until you get to a certain level. And once you get to a certain level, you need someone else's um, ideas and thoughts about how to take it to the next level. And it's not just all about marketing. It's about personal relationships. It's about um, your intelli um, emotional intelligence. It's not uh, about being the smartest person in the room. It's about how do you deal with people? How do you react to their um, answer to the questions you ask in the sales process? And the sooner you can get somebody to move from a, to a yes more consistently, the more business you're going to win. And uh, as you uh, grow, as you grow your business, as you grow in your lifestyle, as you grow in uh, emotional positive spirit, um, that might not be the right word to use, but I'm going to use it for now. As you grow, your business is going to grow, but sometimes when you look at yourself in the mirror, you look at your eyes, your eyes will tell you your mental health, your physical health. Um, it will tell you many other important factors as well, but it's amazing when you take a look at some photos of people like you might go to um, a professional photographer that does uh, portraits family portraits graduation uh, portraits senior photos you know you see the the her eyes how they glow how they're smiling uh, wedding photos you know once again how they uh, glisten you know like they're 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 radiant they're they're happy they're they're just uh, just overwhelmed with the joy of the day and how they're going to um, build a future for themselves, build a family down the road. You know, once they're married, they, they focus on that. Um, so, with that said, I'm going to wrap it up. I would focus on reading two books a week if you can or listen to two books a week and have a plan that's the basics thanks again and have a great day subscribe and follow